That was created through, through the work that I did as an actress and as a director. So uh, many years ago when I started directing, I, uh, I had taken some life coaching uh, classes and then I trained as a coach. And I started using the, that information into the directing. And I saw the actors using the information that I gave them into their personal lives and coming back and asking me for more. So it was kind of like organically born, something that I later called the Los Angeles method. And this is the basis that you can see your life as a movie and your life is something that you write, you direct and you star in. Because I have found many people who act in, their, in the movie of their life and they give themselves the role of the extra or they give themselves the role of the best friend or the villain. You are the star. And then it's up to finding what are the convictions that are stopping you, deciding how you want to translate the world, meaning uh, money, for example. Money is not the paper. Money is not what they give you when you do your job or what you use to pay for groceries. Money is energy. So for me, money could be power. For you, money could be love. For someone else, money could be security. So the moment you start feeling those emotions, then money will come into your life. Everything is an emotion. Everything is a vibration. So what we do through the Los Angeles method is discovering what are our initial confining convictions, what are these thoughts that are stopping us, that what, what, how do we translate the world, meaning like the example I gave you, money. In my dictionary, money is power. Is that definition helping me to do what I want in my life? And then what is it that I want to do? It's a method that helps you discover your goals understand who you are, find your voice, and then once you find your voice and you accept it, then you can lower it and be able to listen to the other person, like we do in acting. Find different thoughts, beats, and actions, and that will help you support everything underneath. Mm -hmm. In acting, the most important part is when you listen. It's when you react. It's not when you give the huge monologue. I mean, I've been talking to you for the past 30 minutes and there's been ups and downs. My train of thought, you know, goes all over the place. It's the moments that I stop to listen and think of what I'm saying that are more important, that help me give birth to new things. So the moment you find your voice and you lower it, you're able to listen to the other. So when you listen to me and you tell me something that's happening to you, I'm not thinking, is she judging me? Am I good enough? Should I be listening to this? I put all my attention to you. And then I'm able to help you. And then I'm grateful and then it's a whole uh, other discussion. But the basic thing, the basic idea of the Los Angeles method is that we are 100% responsible of our reality. And it's up to us to make the choice of wh where we want to go.